the only time President Kenyatta has been heard making a reference to the school burning issue was last week during the President's Awards Ceremony at State House, Nairobi. And now members of parliament from the ODM party say the continued silence by the top leadership led by the President is becoming too loud to bear. Mr. President, where are you when our schools are burning? You are the CEO of this country. We need answers, Mr. President. Mr. President, we need you to call an urgent meeting of all the relevant stakeholders so that our schools can stop burning. Who is giving us assurance of the safety of our children? The legislators say arresting students and teachers is only dealing with the symptoms of what is every day becoming a problem that should be declared a national disaster. The main problem, they say, is caused by poor leadership in the sector and dictatorial tendencies. Dr. Matiangi has been operating this like a personal business. Even at the family level, you do a bit of consultations. You agree on important matters to disagree agreeably because this is the way to go in modern management. His dictatorship has costed this country a great deal. What we are seeing are direct consequences of the failed policies of the Jubilee administration. Starting from the mistreatment that they have subjected the teachers of this country to, from, the day, from day one really, to the cavalier manner in which the ministry, the critical ministry of education has been managed under the stewardship of Dr. Matiang. Code leader Raila Odinga has also asked the government to immediately abandon the court authoritarian policies it is adopting in the education sector. Raila, who has written a statement concerning school fires from Philadelphia, further says a return to the old order should be announced. The old order, he notes, respects the unique traditions of various schools and will help with detailed consultations with parents, teachers, board of governors, PTAs, NAT and CUPET. Education CS Fred Matiangi had banned visiting and prayer days for Form 4 students at the end of third term in a bid to curb rampant exam cheating. And Raila says these radical measures were taken without adequate consultations and they have backfired. He has asked the government to stop turning students and teachers into suspects in the name of curbing cheating. Masi Juma Okande, NTV.